everyone, it's Sarah. Welcome to Vixla Tea. So I haven't filmed a video in a really, really long time. It's just not really one of my priorities right now. And I don't think I will come back and post really regularly anytime soon. But I did wanted to film this video because the reading rush is happening and it's pretty much my favorite reader fun. So I really, really wanted to join. So let's just get straight into my reading rush TBR. The first challenge is to read a book in the color of your birthstone. And for me, I'm born in June. Um, and there are several different birthstones for June. Um, but one of them is moonstone and one of them is pearl. And um, they are both these kind of white um, colors, but the moonstone especially has a bit of blue in it. So I bought the color scheme of Sheets by Brenna Fumler. Um, really, really fits, especially the moonstone, although the pearl is also kind of reflected in here. So I really, really want to read this um, graphic novel. It comes highly recommended by Ariel. So it's about this little ghost that I don't know if he lives there or if he comes there, but he ends up in this um, laundromat because that's where sheets go and it's basically a sheet. And it's about this ghost and I think um, he meets this girl that lives or works there and um, they become friends and the art style is so pretty. I had it on my wish list and my boyfriend bought it for my birthday specifically because he thought that the art was so stunning. So I'm super excited to read this. I won't have a lot of time during the week of the reading rush because I am preparing for my final exams before graduating from university so I have lots and lots and lots of work and studying to do so short books like this are going to really really help me through as well as doubling up on challenges as you will see. The next challenge is to read a book that starts with the word the and um, for this one I am going with The Brightsiders by Jen Wild. Jen Wild wrote Queens of Geek which I adored so much and have called one of my favorite books in the past. It's about Emmy, a girl who plays the drums in this um, hit band, The Brightsiders, and she really has to deal with like media and fans and stuff like that. And I'm pretty sure that she's bisexual just from the cover, <laughs> that haircut. Um, and I also know that John Wilde always writes LGBT stories. So I'm super excited to read this. I hope that it will be a really short read. Um, I read Queens of Geek in a very, very short time. And I've had this on my TBR for a while and been really, really excited, especially because I love the author. So can't wait to see how I would like this one. Then one of the challenges is a little bit weird and it is to read the first book you touch. And you could interpret this in any way you wanted. For me, I decided to actually pair it up with another challenge, which is to read a book from a genre that you should or want to read more of. And for me, I decided that I should probably read one of the many fantasy books that I have on my shelves. Um, and I never, never really reach for them. So I definitely should read more of them. And um, I basically just pile them up like all of the first in a series or however far I was in that series as well as like standalones and I just touched one at random and this could have gone really really bad because there are some very very big books in there but I was lucky and I ended up with Momo by Michael Ende. This is actually a German book by a German author and um, it is about this girl Momo who I think is an orphan and homeless um, and she's a bit magical and she um, meets the other kids that live in that town and everyone basically starts loving her because she's really really kind and um, yeah as I said has I think a little bit of magic to her and um, then in this town the grey men start appearing and they start talking to all of the adults in the town and telling them that they need to save time so in order to like save time, they need to work way more, cut out all kind of fun things that I do in their time and then that extra time that they have, that they're saving, they're supposed to bring to their bank. So 
everyone basically loses their joy in life because they all try to save all of their time and it's really quite a social commentary I believe um, and then Momo tries to basically um, defeat these gray men and um, I'm actually really excited to read this because I don't know if I have ever read it. It's just over 200 pages um, and it's definitely a children's book. So I'm super, super excited and I think I should be able to squeeze it in during the week. And this actually already, as I said, fulfilled two challenges, which was to read a book of a genre you want to read more of and to read the first book that I touched. But it also fits for the challenge of reading a book where you've already seen the movie of and for this one um, when I was little I used to watch the TV show and I remember absolutely loving it so this really really fits a lot of boxes and I'm excited to read it. Another challenge is to read a book outside and for this I am going to be using sheets again because it's the shortest book and I'm hoping to just spend some time outside when it's sunny one day and and to really power through this book but yes i will definitely be reading this outside of my house and i'm so excited for it the next challenge is to read a book set um, in a continent different from where you live and as i said um, momo was written by a german author so i'm gonna guess that it's set in germany um but those two books probably aren't set in europe i'm actually not 100 percent sure I believe that Jen Wilde is actually an Australian author, so maybe this is set in Australia, that would be cool. And Sheets, I believe, was written by an American author, so I guess that it's set in America. Um, but I really hope that one of those um, is not set in Europe, because if they somehow all are set in Europe, I'm gonna have to be picking another book, because, yeah, but I don't think so. I guess I will be reading from a different continent during the week. And just like that, I have fulfilled all the challenges. I do, however, kind of want to finish Reasons to Stay Alive by Matt Haig. And this might also fit for the challenge of um, reading from a genre that you want to read more of. I do read um, quite a bit of nonfiction, especially during this year. I've read a few nonfiction titles, but I always want to read more of it. Um, so I have around 100 pages left in this. And if I like get through my other books or if I just really feel like it, I might also be reading that book, but this is kind of a maybe. And those three books are going to be my main TBR for the reading rush. I really hope that I can get through all of them. I'm not sure. Um, I'm also a little bit sad that I'm gonna be putting a hold on my current read, which is, is A Beautifully Foolish Endeavor by Hank Green, the sequel to An Absolutely Remarkable Thing. And I am currently 120 pages into it and I love it so much. Um, but I know that if I were to read this, it's 320 more pages and it's pretty dense and it takes me a long time to read. and. It's so good, but I think I'm going to just put it on hold until after the reading rush, just because it will probably be the only book I read and it wouldn't fulfill all of the challenges. So yeah, that's just a quick little um, friend, I guess. Um, but yeah, this is my reading rush TBR. I am so excited for the reading rush. Um, I know that this year there aren't gonna be any video challenges and I think two years ago I did the video challenges, that was fun. But um, this year it's only gonna be like a challenge to do a reading vlog and include like a few little mini challenges in there, which I think is fun. And I always love watching everyone's reading vlogs anyway. I don't know how I will do that with the tight like time management that I need to have during the next week to read and study. But um, <laughs> I might vlog a little bit and kind of try to include the um, different challenges, but stay tuned, you will see if the vlog goes up or if I go off from this channel for another couple months. I could, honestly can't tell you, but if you're doing the reading rush, I hope you will love it. Hope you have a great time. Let me know if you did a TBR because I would love to check it out and yeah. Thanks so much for watching. I will hopefully see you guys in another video at some time. And um, thanks so much for watching. Goodbye.